Hello kids and welcome to my channel The Curious Panda. I'm your panda teacher and in this video we are going to talk about everything that you must know about SOF International Mathematics Olympiad examination. And I know for a fact that I'm actually talking to more of parents out here rather than talking to the kids. So I would take this opportunity to talk about this book that I have. This book contains 18 previous year question paper with answer keys of of international mathematics olympiad if you want to purchase this book you can scan the qr code over here through your google lens or any uh, qr score uh, scanning software that you have or you can look for the same link out in in the description box or in the pinned comments and you can purchase this book at just rupees 89 now that we are done with this let's now discuss about sof imo olympiad examination In this video, we are going to cover one, the important dates for SOF IMO 2025. Second, we are going to cover the examination pattern. Third, we are going to cover the syllabus, the syllabus for SOF IMO 2025. And lastly, we are going to cover the preparation guide or how you or how your kids should prepare for the examination. Okay, now that we are in our normal screen, let's talk about SOF IMO and SOF IMO 2025. But first, let's talk about the objective. So why does uh, SOF conduct IMO every year? So for them, the objective is to encourage students to showcase their talent and improve their know-how in the field of mathematics. So in short, they want to encourage students towards mathematics. Now, it is their uh, objective as well. And I'm sure that is your objective as well as a parent or as a child to do well in mathematics, right? Now this year, the examination and like every year, the examination happen, happens on three dates, like three different dates. So you'll have three different question papers, set A, set B and set C. Now first date is 12th November, then that means set A examination will be conducted on 12th November. Set 2, set B will be done in 20, on 28th November and set C examination will be conducted on 12th December. Now your child can only appear for one of the examination and that also depends upon school. Now a few school will conduct two or three examination and you can choose one of them and a few school will only stick to one date and they will say I will only do set A or set B or set C and give the examination on that very date, right? So each student can appear on only one of these dates based on the date selected by your school. So on the on on the date selected by your school only then they will be able to give only one examination now if your school and i get this i, I know people ask me a, a lot is if your school is not conducting sof imo then what to do then you'll have to call sof and then sof will directly contact your school and then and try to convince them to conduct the olympiad examination and if they do not then sof will try to find out another way, they will tag you to some some center, some coaching center, etc, etc. And then they will try and get uh, the examination done for your child. But it is important for you to call SOF first. Uh, the numbers are given over here and the timing is Monday to Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. You can call SOF directly. Now let's go to the examination pattern, right? So the examination pattern is fixed for the for class 1 to 4. And the total number of questions that are going to be asked is 35 and time is going to be one hour. Now, it's very important for you and your child to actually practice a lot of these examination uh, in a time bound manner at home before they actually uh, appear for the examination or the, or the final examination, right? So there are four sections, logical reasoning, mathematical reasoning, everyday mathematics and achiever section. Number of question and logical reasoning is going to be 10 and marks are one mark each. Mostly pattern based question, you know, very easy logical reasoning question. Again, this is not really time taking and it will be very easy for your child to actually answer this question. Then you have section two that is mathematical reasoning. There are 10 questions in mathematical reasoning as well. And each question carries one mark and total marks are 10, right? Third section is everyday mathematics, wherein there will be 10 questions. 
marks per question is one and then we will have total marks as 10 this is most uh, more or less you have uh, you know addition and subtraction problems but it is it is more on the application side of the things for example say i have 10 chocolates i give five to someone three to someone else and how many chocolates i'm left with so something like that right so some very basic addition and subtraction problem but more on the application side right so that is what everyday mathematics is and then last section is the achiever section wherein you will have uh, a little tricky not tricky but a higher level question on the same concepts again but you will have five question in this section and each question here carries two marks right each here carry two marks 10 marks more and the total marks here is 40 so the score that you get is out of 40 another thing that i forgot is that the result that comes out is that comes out is within eight weeks right so eight weeks after uh, uh, after appearing for the examination you, the, you will get the results of the uh, olympiad examination so more important things to note is here there is no negative marking uh, so there are no negative marking so obviously it is important to solve all the problems use of calculator is not allowed third is all questions are objective type and so all questions are going to have multiple options your child will have to choose the correct option and will have to circle the omr sheet so omr sheet will be given and the, the you will have to circle the omr sheet right so that is the pattern of the examination Again, if you have any question on pattern or on uh, the examination dates or anything on Olympiad, do let me know in the comment section and I will try and answer to each and every one of you. So now let's cover syllabus. This, there are four sections as we have already discussed. Section 1 is logical reasoning with 10 questions. Section 2 is mathematical reasoning with 10 questions. Section 3 is everyday mathematics with 10 questions again carrying 10 marks. And this here, the syllabus is actually as per section number two, which we will discuss. Section four is uh, achiever section here, the higher order thinking question comes in and the syllabus is again as per section number two. So the syllabus doesn't change. So one first in, in section two, we'll have mathematical reasoning. That is few math question, aptitude kind of question. And section three will be more application based, more applied kind of question. That is everyday mathematics and section four will have a higher order question a higher level question and that each question will carry two marks we will we'll have five questions there right so what is covered in logical reasoning that is section one so first is patterns right so patterns again it's very common you get one or two question every year on patterns one is for sure it can be two and sometimes it also goes to three so three pattern question can also come uh, then you have odd one out again an important topic here you will be given for example just one question that i was solving yesterday with with one of the kids is that there are four animals given right cat dog rabbit and a tortoise you will have to find out which is the odd one out so the odd one out is tortoise because the tortoise actually lives in land lives in water and on land as well while the other three actually live on land only right so these are the kind of things that your child must know so the knowledge is not limited to say a bookish knowledge but it is also a little more out of the box knowledge as well so that is why practice is more important here more and more you practice more you you is the chance for them to you know ace the examination then is measuring units uh, lens weight etc etc geometric shapes very basic circle square triangle a rectangle all these geometric shapes spatial understanding near far these are the things that you have to you know that your child might understand grouping so there will be some a number of products given you have to group the products analogy ranking test that you have to rank from 1 to 10 or something like that problems based on figures right some figures will be given and you have to find out whether this figure is similar to the other figure or something like that so again geometric shapes seem to become important over here and also even overall understanding of how figures are uh, drawn right so those are important then come to section number two and section two three and four will have same syllabus so one is numerals and number names right so numerals and number names so numbers as such is going to be important counting of numbers simple addition and subtraction number sense again same two digit numbers so they don't go towards three digit it is only limited to two digit numbers but again addition subtraction and everything will be uh, involved over here so addition subtraction 
lengths, weights and comparisons. So lengths, weights, comparisons, time, money, geometrical shapes and sol solids and then patterns as well. So patterns again come over here in mathematical reasoning as well. So the again the topic is not limited to only maths or only practicing more and more questions from your textbook that is obviously very important because that gives you clarity conceptual clarity but it is very important to solve a lot of questions the more questions solved more depth the, uh, the child gets to actually ace the examination right so what are the what should be the preparation like right the preparation that we uh, that a child should have one the child should cover the their own textbook or the basic that the textbook that they have for class one for CBSE say maybe NCRT right NCRT is a very good book if you want your child to ace the examination right so uh, if not NCRT if your child is from any other boards you can go for with other textbooks as well but completing the textbook because the examination is actually conducted in November so your child must cover the whole uh, of the textbook before November itself. So obviously a lot of guidance would be required from parents to actually cover each and every chapter of the book before November so that the, that the child can actually do well in the examination. Apart from that, as I said, as I all have already covered, solving question papers, previous year papers will give the kind of depth, right? So there are many things that would come really out of the box in say in terms of odd one out or in terms of understanding what are the utilities of few of the products. So you will only or your child will only get that if he or she actually solves a lot of previous set questions and question paper. So that is why it is very, very important for your child to actually solve more and more question paper. And again, if you want to purchase 18 previous set question papers with answers, you please check uh, the description box or the pinned comments and you will find a link. You can go purchase it and you can get the PDF file. You can then take a printout and get it uh, and you know uh, ask your child to solve it in a time bound manner, right? So that is very, very important. So this is all about SOF IMO 2025 examination. If you have any doubts, if you have want to know anything about uh, anything more about this, please let me know in the comment section. I'll cover it or I'll just apply you on the comment itself. I have solved few of the previous year question paper. You can find the links over here and here. You can click on it and watch the entire question paper being solved. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. We'll meet you in the next video. Till then, thank you. Jai.